Yo, what's up? It's Jordan from Moss Motor and back again. Right now, I'm heading off to Drew's shop, Fox Hollow, to go see the BRZ. So I got some video clips last night that this thing was running better than it ever has before. And uh, they were like, Jordan, you gotta come drive it so we can get some videos. So apparently this thing like fully runs and drives now. I think it's time that we gotta go and check this thing out. And pulling up to the shop and BRZ is right there. My camera was on. <laughs> I'm glad my camera was on. I didn't, I didn't even know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna see if it starts now. Yeah, we, allegedly it was behaving earlier today. Allegedly. Clout, engage. Rap, rap. Engage. Like a car. It, well, it's a car. It's definitely a car. so insane to me. Sounds pretty mid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now it actually runs like smooth. Yeah, so pretty much what happened is we went and connected the fan relay um, to the stock BRZ one. And we want to see at what temperature that FDRX7 ECU tells the BRZ to kick the fans on. So it's really weird how we have it set up, but uh, things idling. It's actually really quiet. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can hear that accurately, but like this thing idles. Those lights look pretty good. I do want to get some red tin over those because I'm not a big fan of the clears on it. Um, as well as the headlights. We're going to send it out, but uh, yeah, the thing's running. I'm back at the shop with, oh, apparently an E46 BMW. We finally have a fix for the oil leaks that it keeps plaguing me with. Let me explain real quick. So since you see it the last time, we actually got the fans hooked up. Um, so the fans are now going to kick on around 50 degrees Celsius, which this thing reads in all metrics. So, I mean, I deal with a lot of Japanese cars, so it's not the worst thing in the world. All right, after an ungodly amount of time, I had to wait for this thing to cool down because I decided to move it. And uh, it got hot. So like I said before, what we're removing is a little plate down there, oil metering pump, and this, my, my hands, my hands are, are fat, so uh, bear with me. All right, so I promise I wasn't trying to make it look easy, um, but I, this is the plate that uh, Drew and them made, which worked for the most part. Uh, had a lot of gasket maker on the back, and problem was, so the way it's oriented, it goes on this way. This was like tightened with the power of God, just all, all this side. Down here, completely open. So it just leaked out fuel, not fuel, oil. I guess a mixture. Either way, we're, we're taking this off and we're replacing it. And I'm glad you guys didn't get to see me struggle because uh, that was very embarrassing. So the last time you saw it, the car was facing the other way and I was trying to fix the little plate oil block off right down there if you can see the spare RTV that I put on there. But uh, while I was here, I saw some issues that need to be addressed before our dyno day on Saturday. Right here, this AM line is leaking. Not much, but just little drips that need to be addressed as well as uh, over here is still leaking as well as I believe. I think it still is, so uh, they both need to be tightened and we should be pretty much good after that. So uh, it'd be good to get a, a first drive to show you guys how the car actually performs and sounds. And I just fixed the AN line. Seemingly, I haven't tested it with fuel going through it yet, but uh, should be good. Hopefully I tightened it pretty tight. Now I just need to get a 10 millimeter for, let me show you right now. Down here, if it will focus, that is the oil metering block off plate there that I put a whole bunch of silicone on. So if that doesn't tighten, listen, I'm gonna be very upset because I used heat match strength last time. <laughs> All right, so I've just finished. I found a longer quarter inch ratchet and I've actually able to get a little bit more tightened out of the plate and uh, the fuel there. So let's start this thing up and uh, see how we can get this to run and possibly drive down the street. All right, so for everyone that wants to steal this car, this is the procedure. <laughs> Please don't steal the car. There we go. Battery on. All right, so I put a funnel in here and some Valvoline VR1. That I used the last time. Thankfully, this oil is amazing. Thanks to Rob Dom. We use it almost every time we fill it up. Okay. So this still does not work. Does not matter. <laughs> Make sure it's in neutral. And uh, so what I like to do, I like to flood clear it every time. Also, it doesn't need to be flood cleared. 
But uh, rotary's like oil pressure, so I'm gonna give it some oil pressure before I start it right up. Now that's good. We flip on the uh, switch here. We call it the clout switch. See the Pepsi controller power up. I wanna make sure I have everything here before I even start. Fuel sounds like it's going good. And uh, this should be our uh, brat brat switch, according to Aaron. This is gonna be my maiden voyage that you guys see on YouTube. It's actually my first time driving by myself, so uh. This thing is utterly sick. So we can't do, we can't go too fast. Fenders aren't on all the way. Just checking to see if there's any leaks. Should be good. Look, this thing is so sick. All right. the boost noise. Rewind the windows up for you guys. It utterly loves it, man. So it thinks the car is overheating, the stock ECU, just because the way you tapped into the relays, but it's fine. God, I love this car. Again, let's reverse real quick. love this car. This thing is so great. Everything still works. It drives like a normal car. Cool. Oh my god. Love this car. Oh, it thinks there's someone in the other seat. That's why the noise is happening. But it doesn't matter because we just... That was my first time driving by myself inside this car. Wind the windows down so you guys can hear a little bit more noise. I love this car. This thing is everything in my dreams, God. Oh my God. Literally 11 days worth of work at most and this thing is, it's done, it's ready. Put it back in its spot real quick. Okay, put it in reverse. So responsive in every way too. God, I love this car. All the temps and everything, right at 84, idling right at 1100. This thing is perfect. Love it. All right, let's turn it off. When you turn it off, rev it up to four grand around and then you kill it just to get all the fuel out. And that's how you do it. That's crazy. <laughs> so like to end off this part of the video with a thanks to all you guys. I couldn't have done this without you guys believing the entirety of the team, financial support and everything. We're gonna have some 13B BRZ merch coming out very soon with all of this. So uh, if you guys like the car, more videos coming soon. Dino day in a couple days, so uh, get ready for that. <laughs>